Howdy, partner, and welcome back to Degenerate J. We ran. Hold on a second. Okay, what? What's going on? You just on? said howdy, partner. Yeah, I'm trying a new thing. I'm from the South. Yeehaw. No, you're not. So stop, we're taking stop, a look stop. today at the five best Arkham Bat suits that were created by the companies that created the Batman Arkham series. So what we mean by that is it can either be starting Bat suits, Bat suit variations that they created. These are not the alternate DLC skins, though, in terms of things like. Flashpoint or anything pulled right from a comic. Right. Uh, right. Does does that qualification make sense? I, I think it makes sense. I think it sense. has to be drawn. Yeah, yeah. So I think it makes sense. Really, if if Rocksteady or WB came up with the bat suit, that's what we're ranking. Yes. The and top even if five. they even if they tweaked it a little bit and made it their own. Like if they took a concept and then like made Reworked it their it. own. Yes. As long as it's not basically pulled from the comic or movie. It qualifies. It's kind of what we're going off of. Yeah. So we'll be ranking those. And we actually have our first one up right now, which I always forget the actual number of it, but it's the V7.43 Batsuit uh, from Batman Arkham Knight, which yes. is actually, it's like a weird middle ground between Arkham uh, City and Arkham Knight. And it even sort of goes in on like concepts from Origins, actually, if you look at it. Like it's got the gauntlets going on, almost like the Origins design armored gauntlets. You're moving away from the uh, the underwear look, but you still have like that area there, which I think now it almost looks like more armored. Like it's supposed to offer protection versus be like a um, what do you call them? Like briefs on the outside, yeah. like the like the kind that like boxers or wrestlers would wear on the outside of their tights. Like yeah. it's more of a protection now. It's more like a classic Batman Arkham symbol like from asylum almost yes it is that's what i really like about it. it it kind of is a mix almost of the asylum and city suit it's and kind even, of what it looks like even a little night bit. in some ways yes it's like a nice blend of all of them and i like how like his ears are still pretty long in this one because like in night and i could be mistaken i feel like in night they're not quite as long um, uh, they're, well, I would say they're, they're, they're the same length almost, but it's like, it's just a slightly different angle. You always see the suit from. Oh yeah. So it's like, right. it's like they are long, but they're like a different texture. So like, because of that, this sort of comes off looking. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. It looks more classic, but modernized because they're still a part of the built in cowl. I yeah, think. Yeah. There's, there's a lot going on here that we really like. Even the utility belt is like really useful looking and like very practical looking. Almost like military esque yeah. a little bit, which is the way that's how I like the utility belt to look. It's kind of the same idea with uh, the Nolan Batman, who's got kind of that same military look to it around yeah. the, the waist. I like that a lot. But it's so. that idea married with like the comics and the Arkham universe, I yes. would say. Not just like a straight up military suit. For sure. So for there's sure. there's a lot that we really like about that. Uh, the next one we're going with was actually, it caused a tiny bit of a heated debate between you and me on what actually counted. It did. You slapped me around for a while. We were looking sort of at like, does it need to be a classic Batman suit or not? Yeah. And we settled on if the companies made it. It's their idea, right? You Correct. know, it's it's their adaptation of something versus a direct rip. So we ended up going with the Batman Beyond skin from 2039. Uh, I believe we actually already used this in a list for like the top five variants. But the thing is, like, since then we have sort of reevaluated how we see the suit because yeah. at, at the time we sort of saw it as like this is an alternate suit from Batman Beyond. But really, it's not. It's it's the only thing it has in common is the color scheme and the the emblem. Right. Yeah. And I think that that's where I was kind of. That's where the debate stemmed from. Yeah. Was it's like, well, it, this is taken from Beyond. But if you look at like, for example, the mouth. I mean, that's immediately the one thing that sticks out. That's entirely different from what you would see um, from the show and even from the one from Arkham City. Completely different there. The eyes are red. Even like the entire outfit is also like how it is a lot in Arkham Knight with their suits and just the way that they design their characters. Very military looking. It just goes full future. Yes. Yeah. And it doesn't even have a cape. It has the wings that come out when you fly. You've got the red highlights in the back even that you see when you're moving around and like on various parts of the suit. This is really like the most futuristic suit we've seen in the series and it all flows together really well like the utility belt just blends in really nicely so it just from top to bottom and i love the like center iron man chest piece basically on his utility belt too so 
I, yeah. I love how it looks from top to bottom. And he's got little red nipples there, so that's pretty cool. Well, and e even when, uh, that's true, I never noticed that, but even when you, like, move around, actually, these chest pieces, like, separate a little bit. Yes. So, yeah. like, that does happen with the normal Arkham Knight suit, but you don't see it as much because of the coloring on the suit. Yeah. With this, it's much more apparent. Like, when you move differently, the bat moves differently because of that. There's a lot of fine details on this that I think really do put it over the top in terms of, like, edging out the other Arkham Knight suits. I would agree, for sure. So yeah, this is this is obviously this is probably one of our hardest things to like rank like from what we've done. But like our next one is gonna be, it was it's gonna really be interesting. Hard, yeah, it was a really hard list, man, because we were trying to go through and like you said that that Beyond one was tough just in making sure that it actually like, fit our list and like what we're looking for. But it was it was hard to go through and choose all these because there isn't really ones that we hate. It's no. just like what do we prefer, and that's what happens a lot with these lists. It's yeah, like, there's what not we, much we dislike. Yeah, it's just like what do we like the most. Well, so. and the thing we like the most next out of out of the five is actually the XE suit from Batman Arkham Origins, which mm -hmm. I wrote incorrectly on our list as XO for some reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was thinking about giving you hugs and kisses. That's so nice. Yeah, just a little friendly After slapping me around, just a friendly banter. Me. Uh, you know, this suit is really interesting to me. This actually showed up in Cold Cold Hearts DLC. You have the orange highlights on it. There's a lot going on. It's bigger than a normal bat suit in a lot of ways. Uh, like, just in general, it's just massive. Yes. I mean, this thing is heavy duty. It is. It kind of looks like, for me, what it reminded me of when I look at it, especially like the picture that we're looking at right now, it's a, it's like a bigger, or it's like the same version of like the Dark Knight Returns when he's fighting Superman at the end, yeah. but with like orange in it. You know what I mean? It's so like it's, the, the classic armored bat suit. You're saying you think of this as a, as a uh, Arkham take on that. Yeah. yeah I, I would, would agree. So. Yeah. I would completely agree. Even the mouth is covered again Yep. Uh, because it's like the extreme environment. So it's for like cold and heat. Uh, it has its own gadgets, which we didn't really take into account, but it does add personality to it. I mean, when you pull out a battering, like the heated battering, it turns orange. Yes. Like, stuff like that. It's like, it flows into the suit. There's, like, incorporation of this suit into the story that even works with its design. And so he... It looks great. He's big. He's... And in, like, this picture, and even in the gameplay itself, like, it, it just looks great. He looks big. He looks imposing. So the next one we have is... is it's just the classic, man. It's the yeah. asylum bat suit. Yeah. What what do you what can you say about this? I mean, for me, and this may not be entirely fair. Well, it's a bit it of nostalgia? nostalgia. It's a bit nostalgic for me. Um, but also, the way I looked at it was like how well it fit into that world, into the asylum world, and how like all of those characters, like, the way that they were designed, the way they looked, all fit together so well. But just like taking that out and plucking it from the animated series. And how how good of a job they did for like the first really good Batman game really that we've yeah. done. It was, it was so well done from top to bottom. I love the utility belt, the way that it looks, and obviously that carried on all the way into night. Yeah, um, and, and it changed a little bit over time. But like this, this bat symbol, I mean, it varied a little bit over time, but yep. this became synonymous with Arkham. Yes. This style of Batman's, like, symbol. That's the Arkham Bat symbol. Yeah. yeah 100%. And, and it's changed over time, but it's it's very synonymous. The long ears. I think you and I are both fans of long-eared Batman. Uh, for sure. I'm only a fan of short-eared Batman when it's, like, a certain style. Like, Miller pulled it off. Batfleck. Yeah. yeah. yeah Batfleck yeah. did pull it off. Design-wise, don't get mad. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't the, care if that's you That's a great Batfleck. point. Need to, need but but design-wise, that, that suit pulls it off. But, like, yeah. this has that unique style. And you're right. In some ways, this did pull right out of the, out of the Batman the animated series season four. Mm -hmm. In some ways, but it's like very modernized and different. It's it's very clearly their take on it. This yes. this really does seem like it was going to be a darker continuation of the animated series until it got moved into its own continuity. Right. Which we do know that like it doesn't seem like they were always planning on it to just be its own universe. Yes. Yeah. Especially with like the writers that were behind it. Yeah. Like, like Dini. Paul Dini. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So I mean, yeah, I, I love the way that it looks. I love the uh, like the hooks that come out of his arms. I guess I don't know really how to. Describe I never it know what the thing. name is of that, and I should. Yeah, but no, like no, no. the the spiky pokey thing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's got to be what it is. Yeah, but it's gauntlets. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a Batman expert. Clearly, <laughs> yeah, I call them spiky pokey things. And it's a very long cape, but I don't mind it to be honest. And that's that's the only thing that I could see being like a that I it, it's a lot sometimes when you're running around, but I. 
I loved it. I loved the way that it looked, especially when you were jumping off buildings yeah. and flying with it. I, I really and they liked spent it. forever programming that cape. Like this really did push the like capabilities of like suit making at the time. Yeah, for like sure. there were there was like I I remember specifically, and, and I'm gonna get this story wrong, so I don't want to go into detail. But there was like a guy tasked with his job was like for over a year get the cape to flow right. That's crazy. It's yeah. like he's working on physics for the cape specifically because this was not something that was really done very well like no. you look at old superhero games the cape physics are garbage like if they even exist they're mostly just free flow animation that they like programmed in versus responding to the environment like this does which that had to to keep him afloat that's yeah. the thing is this literally is how he flies so it yeah. has to look good so our last official one is the arkham origins bat suit i can feel people clicking off yeah. i can feel people <laughs> yeah. saying oh, i hate arkham origins but yeah. like look no matter how you feel about this game at least if you play it on PC where you can just fully see the detail, this is a fantastic looking bat suit. I mean, like, what is there to say negative about it? Like, it incorporates, like, the best elements of modern Batman with classic Batman. It does ditch the underwear, but it still leaves, like, that black centered padding, like, between the legs where it's, like, you can tell that it's, like, armored so he doesn't take a hit there. Right. It looks a bit more athletic yeah. in, in that way, I think. And I think that it like fits Batman a little bit better in that way. And not necessarily like the nostalgic way, but like the more practical way, I Well, guess, yeah, because you know? a lot of people are nostalgic for the briefs on the outside. Yeah. And I understand it. For Superman, I feel that way much more. Because right. it's, it's more about him as a symbol. You know, like the suit right. doesn't matter as much as, as it represents hope. Right. But with Batman, these suits are changing all the time. And like from practicality, I don't think the dude would be wearing briefs outside his pants. No, 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 no. But like in for, modern day. Exactly. But maybe I mean, in the 80s or 90s. Yeah. And that's why number two in our list was Asylum with yeah. the briefs on the outside. Because like it's great. I love it. I think yeah. it looks great. But this, it just from top to bottom, I think you're right. I think that the... The ears are a little bit shorter than they like are. the normal ones. It's a ones, middle ground. But it is a nice middle ground. They're not like, obviously, uh, Dark Knight Returns short, but they're like that nice middle ground between the two. I think from top to bottom, it just looks good. It looks a little bit more compact, I think. It's not as stretched out and elongated. And he just looks a little bit like, I don't know, like thicker, but in a good way. Well, you know that's I mean? the thing too, is I always look at this as it, you know what you said about Arkham Asylum suit fitting the world. Yeah. And you're very right. This fits the world of Arkham Origins very well. Agreed. Yep. Nobody knows who this guy is. Batman is a legend. Mm -hmm. Like, he's an urban myth at this point. Uh, like, when you come across enemies in the game, they're like, oh, he's real. They, yeah, haven't, they yeah. haven't seen him. And so, like, that's the thing with this. is like, this is very much a practical suit. It's not really used to, like... I mean, it's used to inspire fear in a first encounter, but it's not used to be, like, iconic, right? right, right. Like, Batman's not working on his branding with this thing. You have the massive gauntlets used to inflict, like, as much damage as possible. His utility belt is smaller and more compact. It looks like there's less room for stuff because he's more on the go and he hasn't mastered this technology yet. Right. Everything here screams, like, earlier in Batman's career, guy who beats the living crap out of people. Yes. Like, enforcer Batman versus hero Batman. Yeah. And that that's why it fits the world so well, man. Like, it's every piece of it. And he's more of like an, I feel like an angry Batman. In yeah. Origins, you know what I mean? And that totally fits that vibe. It's just like, it's a very Even the frowns on the cowl. Oh, yeah. It's more aggressive. It's a very aggressive suit. And that, that definitely fits the tone of that character and the voice actor. That voice actor fits Roger really well. Roger Craig Smith, yeah. Yeah, he's brilliant. And I, I think it is kind of funny that we go from that to then, years later, he upgrades to briefs on the outside. Yeah. Like, it is kind of hilarious. It is weird. Out, but, but I love it. I These are all great suits, and I like our list. But, I mean, there's these are, like, our best of the best, and the other ones we still love. Yeah, I don't think there's seen. anyone we dislike. There's things no. we dislike about them that put them lower. But, like, Rocksteady and WB, they did such a great job designing these. I love it. I These are all great suits, and I like our list. But, I mean, there's... These are like our best of the best, and the other ones we still love. Yeah, I don't think there's seen. anyone we dislike. There's things no. we dislike about them that put them right. lower. But like Rocksteady and WB, they did such a great job designing these. Agreed. So hopefully we see a lot of great bat suits in the next game, whatever that is, whether it's Arkham or something totally different. Definitely looking forward to that. Hey, if you have not joined up yet, you should join the Discord. Join a community of gamers. We actually, uh, we all cosplay as Black Mask every Tuesday. We have Black Mask Tuesday. 
We get a girl to dress as Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. We get a poll. Everything's going on. Uh, so, you know, come in. That doesn't happen, actually, in the Discord. We're, we're actually just nerds that talk about comics and games. But, hey, you should join. It's still fun. It's just not that fun. Uh, hey, check out the Instagram where you can see some dank memes and waifus. A lot of those going on there, definitely. I had a real dank meme today about certain current events going on that perhaps people didn't appreciate or maybe they did. Uh, you know, check it out. The Twitter. Follow it. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.